Good morning, Slidell. Today is Saturday, June nineteenth. Happy June nineteenth or Juneteenth to all of you folks out there. Had a rough night last night in the city, as some of you are very much aware of, and uh, others are seeing the aftermath uh, this morning. We, uh, according to the weather service, we had between eight and ten inches of rain, depending upon where you're at in the city of Slidell. Some areas had as much as 11 inches. Uh, we had a rain gauge at one of our pumping stations that had registered 11 inches of rain. Most of that rain fell between a, a two, two and a half hour period between about around 11 p.m. last night and 1 a.m. this morning. Um, our drainage system just cannot handle that volume of rain that fast. So we had significant street flooding all over the community. We had cars that were stalled in, in some of the main thoroughfares in the city and in some neighborhoods. We, uh, we did have some homes, properties that experienced water in their properties. A lot of folks had water in their, in their garages and carports. It didn't quite make it into their homes, but we did have a number of people that did have uh, small amounts in their home. If you're living by one of those folks, reach out to them, see what you can do to help them, squeegee out water, mop, mud, whatever you can do to help your neighbors get back on their feet. That, that's the Slidell spirit. That's what we've always done through every storm. People ask, are the pump, were the pumps working last night? The, all of our drainage in the city is, is gravity fed drainage. In other words, the water flows from the north to the south. And our pumps are on the south end of town. We pump that water outside of the few levees that we have to enable the water to, coming from the north to have space to flow to and, and get out of the city limits. Yes, the pumps were all on last night. They were all working. We had men at all of the pump houses uh, assuring that they were on either automatically or on manually. They worked throughout the night. We had a shift change at midnight. I met those guys whenever they were changing and going to those pump stations. And they are still currently on the job. Now, uh, most of the water's pumped down in, in the systems. We, it flowed out fairly rapidly after the rain ended, but we are still staying on top of those, manning those uh, problems, those, those pump stations, to get the water out of the city. If you have a situation where you've got a tree down or debris that's clogging something that you're, you're afraid is going to impact your drainage, let us know. Call Public Works. Um, we will get out and, and get that. And we'll get trees removed. We'll clean up uh, catch basins or choke points as, as necessary. We don't anticipate having any more significant rainfall in the next couple of days. Talk to the weather service this morning and you're, we're gonna see a little bit more rain maybe this afternoon, tomorrow, and into Monday, but those are just the normal summer showers that we get. We think and expect that the worst is behind us uh, last night, and uh, we are going to move forward with cleaning up and putting everything back together after the, the event that we had last night. So again, if you have neighbors or no neighbors that need help, you know, let's share that slide off spirit, that team slide off spirit, Get out and help those individuals, help those folks, and let's get help them get back on their feet as soon as possible. Uh, folks, it's an honor and a pleasure to, to serve you and to support our community in, in, uh, in this capacity as your mayor. And I'm thankful for every day I get to do it. Some days are much better than others. Last night was a, a, a long night, a tough night, but together we'll all get through this. Also want to thank our police officers, our first responders, uh, fire department, they did a number of water rescues last night to couple with the medical emergencies that uh, people needed to get to a hospital and couldn't get out of their homes. We got them out, got them to the hospital. Thank you to all of those first responders, all of those folks that react in that situation and get our people out of harm's way when necessary. So uh, my hat's off and a salute to all of those men and women that were on duty last night and, and doing their, their duties to uh, keep us safe and keep us protected. Um, that's about all I have for you this morning. Worst of the storm is behind us. Cleanup efforts are ongoing. If you have a significant issue or a problem that you think is, is significant, let us know. We will address it. We'll get out and get it cleaned up. We've got crews that are working today. We'll have some crews out tomorrow. If you have something that's significant, let us know. We will work to get you taken care of and, and address your, your problems and issues. Uh, thank you so much for the opportunity to, to share with you this morning. Have a wonderful day. Happy Father's Day to all of the fathers out there. Have a good day, Slidell. Thanks. Signing off from City Hall, this is your mayor, Greg Cromer.